What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the LLC, where we come to discuss your less than lethal options for home and self-defense. I'm your host, Mr. LLC, and today we've got something different or something new. Uh, as you see by the title, it's the Vulcan M17 MagFed paintball gun. I uh, got this one from uh, Modern Combat Sports. I ordered it on Friday, got it on Tuesday pretty dang fast so <clears throat> I opted for the one without the air tank because I have my own already so let's go ahead and open it up and uh, see what we got all right that's some bubble wrap for protection Ooh, nice ten dollar coupon sweet instruction manual which I will be reading since this is my first one of these I've had a paintball marker before it's not a Vulcan or a Tipman I forget the brand it's out there in the garage it needs severe maintenance uh, let's see here no bubble and there we have it our marker all right um, there's one extra thing in this kit that I got that does not come with it um, and that's the on off valve you can uh, turn your air on and off for storage with this one thing I did forget to, to get was the extended uh, rail for the buttstock but um, yeah let's see what else is in here you get I think that's your muzzle plug plug for your muzzle or your barrel some oil extra o-rings and things in this bag we have our 18 round magazine Flip up front and rear sights. Butt stock for that guy right there. Got your barrel, which will be upgraded soon enough. And we have the marker M17. So, this is what I need if. I'm going to run this, which I will be running this. So I think I'll be ending up removing this eventually until I get the new piece so I can leave my tank connected and pressurized. Pretty nice. All right, so um, let's get it put together. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get the... Uh, Junk out of the way. We got the marker. We got the uh, flip up sights. Let's see which one is this. This looks like the rear, and this is the front. So, I 
barrel. Careful, this little O-ring there. Don't want to lose that. All right. So we've got everything here that we need to assemble. I believe. I do need an Allen key or an Allen wrench, which I have over here. All right. So. So from what I understand, our barrel goes down in. Okay, now you want to turn counterclockwise till you hear the click. So we don't cross thread it, which I'm not hearing. But I think we're we're here. We're already there. All right. Then we're on. Barrel's on. Let's get our rear sight put on. I think it goes this way. Yeah. Okay. So oh, Allen key comes in the bag, but I went and got one anyway. Maybe I'll just I'll not open that bag so I won't lose anything. So we'll go ahead and get our bolt unscrewed here so we can get it set up on our rail. Careful. I was trying to avoid that. Shooting that nut out. Where'd you go? Alright. So yeah, I was trying to avoid that nut flying out of there. So I'm just going to set it here in this position for now until I decide where I want it to live. I may not even leave this on here. I may go ahead and just go ahead and put a red dot on. It's on there loose, man. I don't like how it sits, uh, it's just kind of wobbly, but it is what it is. Like I said, I'm going to probably be replacing it anyway. Um, I've already been looking at mods and upgrades for it. Um, as you can see, I already got the on off valve. Um, I need to get the PPR delete and 
couple more of these shims for the bumper stop and a barrel definitely I I know I definitely need a barrel I, I don't want to max it out I just want I want it to be reliable I'm not going to shoot shape projectiles out of it it's going to be round ball only so I still want to mod it some. Oh, is it just me or does do these just do these just loose? I don't know. All right. Got the flip up set. Nice. All right, what's next? Uh, I already have my bottle pressurized, so might as well let's get this off of here so we can get it all set up and then we'll get a new one of these ordered. Let's do that because I'm not going to be able to run this with this. It makes it too long. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. For now. that let's put our bolt back in so everything stays so we don't lose anything how about that Should just yeah, okay. it up there we go all right so we're gonna run without the butt stock for now this butt stock okay because we are gonna run this This is what's going to allow you to turn your bottle on and off and keep
keep it pressurized without the risk of blowing your o-rings so we'll get that on here let me I'm gonna grab a tool real quick I'll be right back all right so I just want to ensure my uh, equipment is tight here snug um, so I'm gonna just get a little piece of tape here painters tape and just give it a just a snug twist and it's done I understand not to over tighten anything here but <clears throat> I just want to make sure that's not coming off okay so we've got that set we've got a tank pressurized to 3,000 psi uh, this one's regulated at 1100 fire um, I think that's about it you just have to uh, screw this on load up our mag some 68 caliber balls and I think we're set so and make sure you're in the off position to turn it on you got to twist down so you can pierce your bottle so right now it's off we're going to go ahead and attach our bottle bottle attached okay now I did remove the buttstock from the marker but when I purchased this it came with this so I can attach here and for now I can run this this little temporary buttstock until I get the attachment and I can run my adjustable so it doesn't look so incomplete but all right that's that now uh, how do we load our magazine well you gotta wind this spring down drop your balls in here 18 rounds and that's that so three Get some, get some ammo here. Okay, wind it till it stops. Don't overwind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18. So that's 18. Okay. After loading 18 rounds, we're just gonna go ahead off, uh, insert it into the magwell. And we can shoot. So, that being said, let's go shoot it out in the garage. Sit tight. Wait, before we go shoot it out in the garage, um, for those of you who don't really know anything about the marker, um, let's, let's just take a tour around it real quick. Once, since it's put together, okay, because <clears throat> I know some, this might be your first time seeing a video like this. It may not be, but for those of you, it is your first. Uh, so it's a mag fed paintball marker. Here's your magazine. Goes in here. You shoot. Okay. Um, it fires semi or fully auto. You have an ambidextrous safety. Okay. Zero for safe. Semi auto. Fully automatic. Ambidextrous, both sides. Um, it feeds 18 rounds, like I said, from this magazine. Uh, you have an ambidextrous slide release. Well, I guess if you want to call it ambidextrous, I'll call it centralized right here. Uh, it fires, like we did mention, 68 caliber paintballs or first strike rounds. You have an option. You can modify this from shooting round balls to shape projectiles, but I'm just going to be shooting round balls out of this. Um, you have accessory rails, four. One, two, three, four Picatinny rails. Um, so you can put whatever attachments you so deem or desire necessary. Lights, lasers, four grips, whatever. Um, you have your top flip up sights, which I don't know how accurate they are, but uh, they're, they're kind of wobbly on here. I don't like how they sit. I, if I miss something, let me know, but it's, it's kind of shaky up there. Um, you can upgrade this pretty much any which way you want. It does come with included one magazine. It does not come included with the paintball with the uh, a tank unless you have an option to add it to your cart with your with your marker. Uh, chambered in 68 caliber, it weighs about five pounds. Uh, spec says maybe 27 inches. It all depends on how you're rocking this here, I think, and and what barrel you have attached. Uh, I think. We pretty much covered everything about the M17 here that I know to cover anyway. Um, it's mostly polymer plastic. Um, you have your uh, adjustment here, power adjustment here. I will not be adjusting that just yet. Um, if you do adjust, do it gradually. Um, and I think that's it. it. It feels all right. I'm probably going to get a rubberized grip here for me. Um, it is textured here with the diamond grip, but it's, it does need a little bit more. It needs a little bit more. I need a backup, a couple spare mags and some other things for it, but uh, it's a work in progress just getting out the box. So Let's get some shots fired in the garage. I'm going to go set the, the trap up and we'll see you out there. All right, here we are in the garage. We're all set up. We got the trap set. We got the M17 set. Nice. Um, 
Now I think all we got to do is load. And from what I understand, when I stick this in here, it's already going to put one um, in the chamber ready to go. So that's that. Now we have to pressurize. Pressurize and we had a ball fall out. Interesting. Interesting. What is going on here? Okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I don't know what happened there, but all right. So we got our, our mag back in. Rounds loaded. We're going to test it out in the barrel. We're going to do a single shot, semi auto. Safety off, going hot. Firing. Two misfires. What? Why is it not advancing? Three. Okay. It's not pushing the balls up for some reason. What is going on here? This is weird. Is that supposed to happen? That's not supposed to happen. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, I've reloaded the mag. Let's see if we still have that problem. Um, how much are we sitting at here? We're down about 2,000 PSI for that first mag or half a mag. Let's see if we can get 18 out this time. Firing. Okay. Oh, okay. Got them all. Nice. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to reload. Uh, do I need to gas up again? Yeah. I'm going to reload. Gas up. And then we're going to go full auto. Alright, so... Once you turn, you got to turn your switch off, right? And then once you turn that, you still have two shots left in here. So I'm going to go ahead and expend those. That's it. All right? So don't forget, if you, when you turn your switch off, fire two times. All right, I'm going to reload, regas, and um, we're going to go shoot some more. Hang on. All right. Got gassed up. We're back at 3,000. We're just under it, like 2,900, something like that. We're back at 3,000. We're going to pressurize. Why does that happen? Anybody? Why? Okay. Maybe next time I'll pressurize, then put the mag in. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. But... Now we have 17 rounds and we're going to go fully auto. All right. Fun switch activated. Firing fully auto into the barrel. 
Firing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That shoots like butter, man. Oh my goodness. That thing is like. But what I don't like is it keeps firing when you run out of ammo. That's what I don't like. Uh, let me reload another one. Hang on. All right, we're 2,000 PSI, 2,100 PSI, something like that. Uh, I'm going to leave it on full auto, but I'm going to burst, try to do some control bursts. Safety off. Firing. That'd be eight if I'm counting right. Ten. shoots I do like how it shoots okay so I guess I'm supposed to pressurize the bottle then load the mag ammo won't fall out then okay um I think let me run one more <laughs> let me run one more hang on all right uh got a target up there I'm going to do single shot uh, or semi-auto um, and let's see if we can punch some paper empty out this this tank I put another mag in still sitting respectable 2000 still yep thanks so get the job done oh yeah and in the garage so 17 feet I didn't mention that before but all right uh, Safety off. Whipping hot. Firing. Not bad. That's 18. Nope, that was 17. 18. Oh, I must have put 19 in there. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So I guess you can fit 19 in the mag. And fairly accurate, I might say. I might say it's fairly accurate. It shoots so smooth. Um it, yeah. Once you get your, your iron sights dialed in, uh, it's, it's an accurate, it's an accurate marker. I got to tell you that for sure, for sure. Um, I'm putting 18 more, maybe 19. And if it's 19, okay, so 19, we're going to do a uh, full yard this time. Tear that piece of paper up. Ready? Fire it.
it out. So we're down to about a thousand PSI right now. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I gotta say, I like it. I like this m 17 I'm sure I'm gonna like it even more once I mod it a little bit and uh, get a couple of bits and pieces for it. But yeah, Vulcan M17, less lethal home defense. I got mine, like I said, from Modern Combat Sports. They ship fast. As long as it's in stock. Go get you yours. Mr. LLC, signing out. Wish you guys God bless. Keep you and yours safe. Peace. Rock out with your M17.